what's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby Marina. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can use a bottle as a teaching aid to be able to teach a child how to scuba dive. Now, today my daughter's actually out of school, so she's spending all day today with me here at the shop. And so I thought about this as a great opportunity to work on some of her diving physics skills. And to be able to teach her physics, I need to do it in a fun, easy manner to where she can understand it. Now, she's actually been diving several years with me now. You guys have seen plenty videos of that. And she's also been in some previous YouTube videos with us here where she helped us teach Boyle's Law and Henry's Law simply by shaking up a bottle and opening it up and showing what happens if we come up too fast. But to take that a little bit more in depth, I wanted to explain to her, just like I do my open water students, is the difference between, say, atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure or water pressure. And so I wanted to be able to do that with a bottle as well. So I sat down with her for about 20 minutes and I kind of went over the different types of pressure with her and how they work. And then just to make sure that she obtained that knowledge, I actually had her teach me the same or the same classroom session that I just taught her, and these are the results. All right, you ready to show me what you learned? Yes. Okay, so up here at the surface, we constantly have some type of weight pushing in on us. Do you remember that? Yes. What's it called? Atmospheric. Atmospheric pressure. Very good. So we're gonna write that down so we don't forget it. All right. And so, can we ever change the atmosphere? No. So it's constant. We always have that weight no matter what. Yes. All right? So if I go underwater, now I'm in water and not air. So there's a different type of pressure that we deal it's with. It's called gauge pressure. Gauge pressure. Very good. And it's basically like hydrostatic pressure, right? It's the yes. pressure of the water. Yes. But now, that there's a big difference between atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure, right? Yes. And what is the difference? If I took the atmospheric pressure here, which is made up of what? What do we breathe? Air. Air. So if I took, let's say, one cubic foot of air, how much does it weigh? 0.08 pounds. 0 0.08 pounds. Very good. And if I compared it to the exact same cubic footage of, let's say, salt water, how much does salt water weigh? 64 pounds. 64 pounds. Very good. Now, I still have the exact same amount, correct? Correct. But they weigh different for some reason, correct? Correct. So, is there anything that you can show me about why air and water weighs different? Because water is like heavier. It is heavier. So is there a device or something that you can show me? Yes. So this bottle is filled so it's heavier than a lighter bottle with no drink in it. Right. So one's filled with air, one's filled with water, and it's the same amount, but it's a lot heavier, correct? Yes. So if I keep filling that bottle up, what happens as I go deeper and deeper and deeper? What increases? Air more air increases into the bottom and makes it more heavier. Not more air, but more what? Water. Water. So the deeper I go, I have more water pressure pushing in on me, correct? Correct. How do I decrease that pressure? To in you increase. I, if, if I go down and the pressure increases, how do I decrease it? Where do I have to go? You have to go back up to the surface. Go back up to the surface. Now, there's a danger with going up too fast, right? Yes. What, you, what you, could happen? You could explode if you go up too fast. <laughs> well, your body wouldn't explode, but air spaces could, right? Yes. And what's one of the most important air spaces that we have? Your lungs. Your lungs. So we should never do what while scuba diving? Go really fast. Really fast or what? What's the number one rule? Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Very good. So just a quick recap. Here at the atmosphere, yes. or we have how many, and we'll draw it like this to make it a little easier. How many atmospheric pressures are we dealing with at the surface? One. One. If I was to go to, say, 33 feet. It would be two. It'd be a total of two. Very good. Because what can I not change? Is there any, can atmospheric or you gauge pressure? You cannot change the first one. The atmospheric pressure never changes. It's constant. How many total atmospheres would I be, say, at 66 feet? Three. Three. Very good. 99 would be four. Very and good. One. 32 would be 5. Very good. So I increase atmospheric pressure by going down. I decrease it by coming back up, correct? Like if it goes to 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. And then we're back at one atmosphere here at the surface. So do we understand Boyle's law now and how yes. it works? And we understand why we should never ever hold our breath, yes. correct? correct? Good job. So guys, as you can see, she was able to pick up the difference between atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure and, the, and what makes up the difference simply being a bottle full of air and a bottle full of water. She is able to visualize that and see the difference between atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure at the same time. So by using these teaching aids, I was able to take a seven-year-old and teach her the basic physics that all scuba divers need to understand. So guys, if you're an instructor out there and you don't like to train children because you don't think that they can obtain this knowledge or retain the knowledge that you give them, they really can. All you've got to do is break it down into a simple format for them to grasp. Get you some really neat you know, teaching aids out there and I promise you kids can learn from it as well. Guys, if you like this style of video, if you want to see more videos with Tessa in it or more videos in general with children learning how to scuba dive, drop me a comment down below, smash that like button and definitely share the video as well. But guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. Every time you watch our videos, you're supporting us and we're able to create more content that you guys want to see. So, And we want to thank you for that as well. But if you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.